What's going on YouTube? So today, man, we're going to be talking about the Cycle Frontier, which is a game that uh, is basically Escape from Tarkov uh, free to play game. Uh, is the only thing I really can say that it reminds me of. Uh, and I actually, I enjoy it. I think it's a pretty good game to be free to play. <clears throat> so the, basically the gist of it is um, you're a, I can't remember what they call you, basically a miner. Uh, and you go in and you can find uh, certain things on the map that these three factions tell you to get. Um, one could be plants, uh, the animals, which are like the alien life on the planet. And then... Um, the other one, I believe, is like uh, things that you find in certain stations or whatever. So those three things go to, th uh, to certain three factions. And you can get loot from those guys. And usually you take the loot and you take it back to your base and, you, you know, upgrade certain things so you can get better loot. So it's got the whole Escape from Tarkov vibe going on with it. I've never played that personally, but um, from what I've seen, that's basically what it is. There's not much story or back behind it. Um, they give you a little introduction uh, from the beginning of the game just telling you what's going on in the world but besides that uh, world building and all that there ain't much to it um in which if you're going to play this game you're not looking for a story uh you're really just going for the pvp uh, action and the uh, one thing i do like about it is is that um and I, I believe i'll put some of the footage in the in the video behind it uh behind me talking is you can actually you know fighting against the aliens and human interaction actually come together um because i end up getting killed in one of those uh scenarios with them but i found that 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 actually is tying in pretty well to each other like i said i've never played any game like this so for me personally that's kind of fun um all together though the game look wise and feel wise uh, everything seems to be going pretty good. Like I said, it's a free-to-play game, so this is something you can actually download if you'd want to. Only on PC, though, but if you want to download it and try it out, you can. If you don't like it, then you know, you could de uh, delete it. But that's one thing that I feel like free-to-play games have advantage over games like Escape from Tarkov and everything like that. Some people just aren't willing to fork out $40, $50 for the game that they don't, they might not want. Uh, end up you know wasting the money they feel like so a free-to-play game kind of gets you in the door to see how it is and then once that happens you know you're like willing to um put money into it now usually with this game right here i believe they have season passes and so those season passes is going to be their way i guess of getting money out of people along with cosmetics and things like that but uh, for the base game for everything that comes with it uh, it seems like it's pretty field uh i haven't had any crashes for the time i've been playing with it um frame rate can jump uh jump between which i don't have a beast of a computer but uh it can jump depending on where you are in the map um also depends on what your graphical settings are i have mine on the lowest just so i can get the highest fps but i mean if you want the game to look a little bit, bit a little bit better i can see where it could take a toll on your computer and you know lower the uh the frame rate of everything like that but like i said man all together I feel like the game as a whole is something that's, um, I, I feel like it's something that has come together nicely and has worked well. Uh, but Steam says otherwise. I've, I've gone on the Steam charts and I've seen where there's a bunch of mixed reviews. And um, I don't know if they're really justified as to why these um these things look the way they do or the <laughs> ratings are i don't know what that was i know i've heard about this game a little bit before this but um you know it coming free to play or me seeing it on the steam store i had no idea about it i have completely forgot about it and then it popped back up and i was like oh, okay well you know let me try it out but um let me just pull it up right here and i'll read some of the reviews uh like i said they're mixed at the moment um, and so like one of the fir first ones you'll see is the game is fun people who complain that playing solo is hard versus teams But that is whatever get your knife out and run for it My problem with the game is the fact that there are a lot of cheaters in the game just released and me personally I haven't come across any cheaters yet um, I feel like uh, I've had <laughs> everything's been pretty easy for me um i've had a couple kills um running it so people that don't seem to know exactly what they're doing or didn't see me i guess i don't know but um i haven't ran against anybody uh, they track you down no matter what have infinite stamina so uh, you can outrun them so yeah if they do something about this infestation the game will suffer 
um, if they don't do something. So I guess cheaters is something that's running around rampant. Uh, I know they're using, um, I had to download whenever I got the game, you had to download cert a certain anti-cheat. So maybe they can work on that. Um, uh, let's read another one here. So, okay, let's start off with this statement. This game does a lot of stuff right. Very cool concept. Kind of rip off of uh, uh, Icarus. I've never played a game so, uh, before, but solid and fun concept. You go down the planet. There's an abundance of stuff to grab. Call it shit. Da -da -da -da. This is where the game loses its entertainment and gains a thumbs down. It isn't It isn't that it allows you to be camped by people who sit at discretion points. Uh, areas to completely erase what you just spent the last hour working on. They do. is It isn't what PV... Okay. comes down to the awful gear scaling. White, green, blue, purple. We all know the tears. In a cycle, though, the step between white and green is massive. As a fully white gear newbie, I was a jump, I was jumped by a blue gear camper. I aimed my entire gun into him, and he hadn't even lost. You see, and I'm not sure... Because and another thing going with the cheaters, like I said, I haven't really met any cheaters, but I guess one thing they do have like a uh, you can go down into the normal uh, mode or no normal planet and then you can go into uh, I guess what you would call the, the hardcore planet. I mean, I really don't know, but um, from my perspective, from what I've played in the game, I haven't really came across anything. Um, that hasn't that that's just really uh you know been game breaking like people were saying the bugs the cheaters um people i guess out uh better than me uh from the people i've killed have been about the same rank as me i guess they've ran into their own people <clears throat> but these seems kind of like little nitpicky things that i would say uh, obviously you know um if you have better gear than somebody else you know it's gonna be bad for you you know that's i think that's part of the game that you need to try and work out and i guess what i've played is i've always played a little bit more stealthier where i try and you know creep around um listening for the footsteps and stuff like that and that's where the game really gets you is where you get in and you can start uh you know creeping around running around then you hear a footstep in the back of your you know and your headphones from your right side we'll say and you stop and you're looking around trying to hear where it's coming from you hear a guy on a ledge and you know there's a lot of creeping and crawling this game isn't really fast paced you know gonna get you going 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 you really have to take your time in it and kind you know and slowly pace yourself getting the things you want and uh, along with the you know the ships going down and stuff like that you know i could see where it comes i could see you know people getting upset about that where people can camp the, uh, the the you know the sites but i think that's a thing in tarkov as well is that people can just sit there and camp it so i really don't see you know i don't know if people have ever played a game like that before but that's something i could see that you know somebody be getting upset about but yeah this is just uh, you know a whole rant video about how i think that maybe the mixed reviews i guess uh you know um, the cheaters is expected um glitches for a free-to-play game that just came out is expected um i feel like for it to be free to play the things i've gotten out of it excuse me or something that i actually believe this is how free to get play games should be you understand what i'm saying so yeah hopefully you guys understand what i'm talking about and enjoyed the video if you haven't let me know in the comments below what your guys thoughts on it if you tried it or if you'd like to try it um like the video subscribe if you want more content like this god bless guys and i'll see you guys in the next one